good day, I'm Dr. T and welcome to my office. Let's talk breaks. No matter how engaging a lesson is or how wonderful the teaching, everyone needs a break. Uh, let's just be honest. You need a break, your students need a break, everyone needs a break. Uh, some time to dust off the old brain and get ready to go again. Well, typically when thinking about your class schedule, you want to incorporate this and plan for some breaks as you're teaching. Uh, of course, how many and how long a break uh, does depend on a few different factors, but the biggest factor is how long is your class? Okay, so normally we'll talk about hour-long classes, which are not actually an hour long. The standard hour-long class is actually 50 minutes, then having the surplus, that 10 minutes for the students to run across campus from one class to the next if they happen to have back-to-back -back classes. And of course, in reality, it's not really 50 minutes. It's probably closer to 45 or 40 because, you know, it always takes a couple of seconds to get going, you know, maybe a minute or two, and then a couple of minutes are kind of wrapping up and, you know, you're kind of expected to be leaving at the 50 minute mark, not getting ready to leave. So we've got, say, our 50 minute class. That's really probably 45. A student should be able to handle that no problem. You don't need to put a break in there under almost any normal situation. I mean, if it's something getting really wacko going on, uh, but with college age students, you should not need a break for that. And to be blunt, same goes for your hour and a half classes, which are in reality 75 minutes, because instead of a 10 minute passing area, you've got a 15 minute gap between courses. Uh, okay, so that's fairly straightforward. You don't need to worry about breaks on those. They've got, you know, between classes or after that class to deal with a break. That's good. Now, once you move into your two hour classes, which are actually about 110 minutes, because they're really two 50 minute classes stuck together and no 10 minute gap in the middle. In that case, yeah, two hours is getting really long. Uh, to be honest, an hour and a half was getting kind of long, except for the fact it wasn't really an hour and a half. It was about 75 minutes. So that's actually kind of a nice guidepost. Once you're going over about an hour, that's time to take a break. Once you've been, you know, 45 to 75 minute range. That's usually a pretty good time to, to take a nice break. Now, what I have found is that you don't need a long break. Five minutes is usually plenty for everyone to get up, check their phone, walk around, dart to the bathroom, get back, and they're relatively refreshed. So a five minute break after roughly an hour of classroom activities, whatever those might happen to be, works quite well. Uh, if it's a laboratory setting, I usually just tell the students, hey, when you need to take a break, take a break, just don't leave the Bunsen burner on or something like that. Uh, but you know, obviously, if I'm lecturing, I'm going to have to call the break. And so every hour or so for a two hour or a three hour class, that works well. Uh, four hour classes are getting brutal, uh, to be honest. Uh, and I'll do a different video on ending the class early on, with three and four hour classes. I almost can never actually use the whole time because the students are so burned out by the end. Uh, so for those classes, yeah, five minutes every hour. But once you start getting that four hour plus class, uh, now all of a sudden you actually need to start thinking about a food break. <laughs> and these are so brutal. I do not recommend them. I've taken a few of these, uh, usually like CPR training, etc. And yeah, you, you really want to have a, a little bit longer break. If it's gonna be a six hour class, you're gonna to have to have a lunch break in there. And of course, how long your lunch break is depends, you know, are they bringing their lunch? Are they running to the cafeteria? Do they have to go run to a restaurant? What kind of gap do you need for them to get their food? Uh, or are you providing food? If you're providing food, then of course, that's gonna be the quickest, but uh, those are rare, few and far between. Uh, so yeah, when thinking about breaks, my rule of thumb is five minutes every hour, uh, typically on the top of the hour, uh, depending on when my class starts. Uh, but of course, your classes will vary. And if you're going way over three hours, um, whew, it, those get rough and you're definitely going to have to think about breaks on those. So with that said, have a wonderful day. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in later videos.